In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will now explain to you how to install Brightway and the Activity Browser. So first of all, we need to download Anaconda. You can find it at anaconda.com. This is an environment that enables you to use Python and uh, Windows machine. So you can just save that. So now this is safe and we can open it up, install Anaconda. Okay, I'll just put it here and then let's put this here. Okay, I might not be allowed to create this folder here, so let's see if I can do it if I do like this. C. Okay, there we go. And then by way to Python. All right. Okay, let's do it that way. something about 3.9 works just fine okay so we have 3.9 okay so now it's installed and we can hit next and next we don't need the tutorial you don't need getting started with Anaconda, finish, that's it. Okay, so now that we have Anaconda installed, we will now install uh, the Brightway. Look for Anaconda. Okay, there you go, there we have Anaconda. We'll put it here. And we'll put that in there. All right. File that we've, so this is like your, it's called the navigator, it's like your home screen, you have different things here that can be useful. The Jupyter Notebooks are, um, will be of use later on, especially for Brightway too. But now we will just, uh, first of all, use this uh, CMD here, the command. Looks like this, I will also make it big. And I will put this here. It's like this, well, let's, let's do it from the beginning. So you just Google for, Brightway 2 and then you go to brightway.dev and there you will find under documentation and then installation and there you find the codes that you will need now. So the first thing is, like I said, we create an environment. This environment here is called BW2, so for Brightway 2 and that's actually fine, I guess. So just copy and paste it here. And then you will have to tap Y for yes, and hit enter again. There you go. And now we activate our, um, our environment. And you will need this uh, every time you will work with uh, Brightway 2 or the activity browser. Uh, actually only if you work with Brightway 2. So you tap act Activate and then the name of the environment. Activate BW2 and hit enter. And now you can see this has changed and we are now in the Brightway 2 environment. Now we have to install all the packages that uh, Brightway 2 needs. And this is done using, so we have done Anaconda installation. We have created a new environment. We have activated our environment. And now we install actually Brightway 2. So you will need to copy and paste that one here. So it's the step number four in the uh, instructions. Copy, paste it and hit enter. So now that this is done, um, we will 
now, since we're on a Windows machine, also need to copy and paste that code here. So the last one here, uh, step number five, and then we hit install. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so now that we have installed Anaconda and uh, Brightway 2, I want to show you how to install the Activity Browser, which is like a graphical user interface for Brightway 2. So with Brightway 2, you can already do all the stuff that the Activity Browser does. You can do LCAs and all this, but it will be in a format like this, like writing code, while the Activity Browser has an easy, nice graphical user interface where it's just everything is easier to handle a little bit. So you can stay here in, on the page and just scroll down. So we're still in the installation guide from the uh, Brightway 2 documentation website. And there you can find Activity Browser and just hit this link here. And then all right, let's do it like this. I don't know actually what this quick install here is. It looks maybe a little bit simpler and has all that stuff in one. Conda Forge Simutator Bestäubig. Conda Forge Simutator. Okay, it's actually the same, but I will just use that one as I've always used that one. Copy and paste. There you go. Okay. Now we can check whether we have all these installed. You can just go copy and paste this and then hit enter. <coughs> so this looks okay. It's six channels and here we have six channels. So it's all installed. And now we will create um, uh, a new environment for the activity browser. So just like we did before with the Broadway 2 environment, now we will create a new tab for the Activity Browser. And this will actually install the basic version, so the stable version. But I'm actually more of a fan of the developer version, which has a little bit more functions. And um, actually, I did not find many like more bugs or crashes there, so uh, like crashes. Uh, so therefore, I always use the developer version. I will show you how to install this after we install the regular version. Okay, there we are. Now we have installed the regular version of the activity browser. To start it, we will type. Sorry, I'm not in the window. Activate AB that activates our environment. So as you can see, for, we switch from Brightway to to activity browser now and now we just type activity dash browser and it will start up wait like a moment and there we go we are now have fully installed the uh, activity browser uh, so now i will show you how to install the developer version so in order to do this i just close the other I just closed down the activity browser window and then we are back in, in our regular command prompt thing. So these lines are just from starting the activity browser. So this is more or less what happens when you start it. And then when you just close it, the activity browser, you will be back in that line. And actually it's more or less the same. You can just uh, copy paste that one here and create a new environment for the activity browser dev developer. And again, we have to type Y and then we proceed, enter, and it would install the developer version now. Okay, so now this is done and now we can, can hit that type, sorry, activate A, B, is it with a dash or with an under the underscore? It's a dash, no, it's an underscore. Okay, and now you can see here, 
we switched from the regular AB to the AB dev. And it's just a preparation of me. So you can perfectly fine use the AB, but I like the uh, developer version more. And then it's the same as before. We just hit activity dash browser and enter, and then it starts up. So there you go, it looks more or less the same, but it will have some additional features. And then for you, it will look, I did this empty one. For you, it will look like this. So there won't be any databases yet. And first of all, you always have to create your biosphere flows. It's just like elementary flows and impact categories and technosphere flows. So you just hit that button and wait, and then it's created here. And after that, you can import a database. You can do it either remote or local. I will do the remote one. And then you can either use EconVent, which is a commercial license, you hit next. And if you have an account here, you can just type your credentials here, username and password, and then it will do the rest for you. But in order for everyone to follow, since um, this one is free and open source, I would just uh, show it uh, exemplary with the Forwast database. So you just hit next. Then you have to assign a name. This will be the same if you use the commercial comment. So you can just type whatever name you want. For me, four West is okay. And then you hit next again. And it will give you like a little summary. It says, okay, this is part of your project first startup. And uh, the name of the database will be four West. And it will be downloaded from this link. And then you hit import, wait a little bit, and then it And then it's done. You have imported the forest database. And as you can see here, we have our technosphere, our elementary flows, our biosphere here, and the forest database is here. And there we go. That's it.